Hello, I am Sripal Bangalore, an assistant professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center. I'm an interventional cardiologist and I treat patients with coronary artery disease. Uh, we recently got funded by the National Institute of Health to conduct a large multi-center, multinational clinical trial in patients with uh, chronic kidney disease and who have uh, stable ischemic heart disease uh, to understand best management practice for this. So it's a $10 million trial uh, which has been uh, granted to uh, NYU Langone Medical Center. So the ischemia CKD trial, we, we are going to enroll patients with chronic kidney disease. And these are patients who have uh, long-standing renal failure and also have a coronary artery disease. Um, they have blockages in the coronary artery. So we're trying to understand what's the best management practice for these patients. Is it just medication alone? or should we take them to the cardiac catheterization laboratory and ba based on their black blockages, either fix their blockages by using stents or bypass surgery. Patients with chronic kidney disease across the United States, there are uh, 26 million patients and uh, one in every five patients have chronic kidney disease. So it's a growing problem and it's projected that by the year 2030, because of increased prevalence of obesity and also diabetes, this number is going to explode. So it's extremely important to understand how best to manage these patients. So this trial is going to be a unique alliance between nephrologists and cardiologists, nephrologists treating kidney problems and cardiologists treating heart problems. Our hope is by enrolling 1,000 patients and uh, testing this question, we'll be in a better position to best manage these patients. This is an exciting phase, both in my career and also for NYU Langone Medical Center. We are addressing an important question which has largely been ignored in previous randomized clinical trials. And we are doing this because we want to make the patients feel better. We want to improve their quality of life. And hopefully by addressing this question, we'll be able to uh, find out how best to prolong their life and make them live longer.